Martin, 7 Eyewitness News at 11. It is golf like you have never seen it before. A Buffalo-based startup is turning the game on its head with an innovative new twist that will entice both golfers and gamers. If you've ever picked up a golf club, you know the feeling. That's your home! Are you too good for your home? Answer me! Whether you chop, slice, hook, or... <laughs> One Buffalo based startup could hold the key to golf perfection, aptly named Perfect Golf. You have a convergence of virtual reality and reality that we've never seen before. From my perspective, and looking at the industry, it's been rather stale for the past 40 years. Inside the former Trico building on Ellicott Street in Buffalo, creative minds like Robert Samuels and Keith Blakely are looking to change the game of golf as we know it. And the driving force behind this video game. It's a very interesting game in the fact that it is based on real analytics, and it's not an arcade game. Players choose a ball and clubs, all of which are true to the physics, statistics, and form. Then they choose a course. The idea of making golf more enjoyable, not just to golfers, but to gamers, was really kind of intriguing. And the Jack Nicklaus Perfect Golf video game is just the beginning. The next is to now integrate that virtual reality into reality, utilizing enhanced golf ball technologies. Robert is talking about these high-tech golf balls, which include a GPS sensor system. This allows for real-time tracking and flight path analysis. It can even record entire rounds, which can be replayed on the video game. Theoretically, go out, play 18 holes, come home, and watch that on the video game here, here with Jack Nicklaus. We are in upstate New York where you can't golf for a few months out of the year. And yet, the innovation, the creativity, thinking outside the box is what we are seeing. I mean, it, it, if, if this is not the true definition of disruptive innovation, I don't know what it is. And it could be the new approach you're looking for. It looks like a rat. It's in the hole.